Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to more, let's play Croc 2, I am the Black Shadow, and I'm an idiot. Yeah, the door was right down here, I didn't realise that, I, I don't know if I ever came down here properly, I, I can't remember. Anyway, so we have done all our business in the Caveman Village, we have saved everyone that needs saving, we've got hold of all of our trophies, so we can look to go ahead and do the trophy door here, which I'm going to do before we enter boss time. So, uh, let's go and um, go see what's in store here for our third jigsaw puzzle piece. The secret mine. Oh boy, there's gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be rough on freaking rail segments. That does not excite me. Oh boy, this this could suck. Um, I need to check something here. Do you still get the crystals? I I I I kind of came off. Oh, you do still get the crystals. You don't have to be. Oh, that one you have to be on the right side, but. You know what, folks? Fuck the crystals in this section. The hell of them. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Worst comes to worst, I'll just get some health from, um, whatever. From, like, uh, Pete or whatever. It's fine. Just make sure we don't die. Because this draw distance. Yeah, I, I don't care for these crystals at all. Getting all 100 for the uh, for the extra life. It's easier that I can get than this. Right, sure we just don't die. Oh, we're up here again. Okay, so maybe there's a different route I've got to take on these split paths here. I noticed there was a split path here. Yeah, okay. So I've got to work out the solution to the jigsaw piece. Now I have to work out which path I've got to take. Okay. Makes some sense. I'll get what crystals I can, but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chase them. Okay, now I'm down here again. Okay, so there were other split paths for us to take, so we just gotta work out which is the correct one. You can in theory just keep doing this again and again and again and again until you get what you're after, but like, get on all the crystals, but no, I have no interest in chasing these down. So we're gonna skip past this first one, and there must be. Ah, oh, it was there! Damn. I need to go left there. Shoot. That's the route we gotta take, I would assume. Alright, round we go. In fact, you know what? Oh, I didn't mean to. Pr I meant to press F4 to. Uh, ah, piss. I meant to press F4 to speed for this. So there's no danger on this section. Just to take the frame limiter off here and just make use of modern conveniences here. <laughs> this music great, actually. I like it. Oops, and I didn't pay attention and I died. Oops. Oh, good times. All right, then. I'm going to do the left section because I need the um, bits of crystals. But then why do I care about the crystals? Because you think I don't. Right. So, let's get the first one. Hold right to go down the second. Here we go. So this must be the route we've got to take here. Oh, Dantini. They have no chance of... Oh, did you see that? Wow, that was, um, was kind of hidden away. That was rude. Let's try this again. I kind of want to be throwing these health points away. Um, I might need these for the bosses. So it makes me a little, little concerned. Right. Okay. It turns to Shadow. You make sure to go right here. Again, don't care for the crystals. The ones we get are great. The ones we don't get... Oh my, there's more speed paths. Okay, so this gives me some health here, but this may not be... Yeah, this is the exit, right. So you have to... Okay, so we've got to go past the first one, right at the second one, and then right at the third one. Okay. Okay. All right, then. At least I know. The game nice enough to give you an extra health point on the way out, so I guess that's benevolent. There's going to be a bit of trial and error in this, basically. There's uh, no, no two ways about it.
I think the only way you could get that one on the right side that is literally by giving up a life to get the crystal, which is kind of ridiculous. So we're down here. All right, so you need to go right at the intersection. Make sure, obviously, not to uh, spoon off here. The section's coming up. There it is, on the right side. Okay. So down here. Down past the bone bridge is, it turns out. Jump. Down the side. Left. Okay. Now there's an exit gong there, but we haven't got our piece yet, so it must be down here. There it is. Nice. That's a bit sneaky putting the gong there. You're just not paying attention. Hit the gong by like almost accident. I guess actually no, that's not true. It's there if you want to do this again after having collected the jigsaw piece so you can actually exit the level. So actually I get what's right there. It's that's not too bad. Alright then. So what's going on over here? A gobbo here. Strange noises coming from the forest. Let's go and investigate. Venus Fly Von Trap. Cute. What? Do I have to jump on it when it's uh, like this? What the hell? Huh? What? I. Okay, we need to understand the mechanics of how these work before I continue on this level. Ropes. I didn't spot the ropes. I literally didn't see them. There are probably people here that are tearing their heads, their hair out, wondering how did I not spot those? Ow. Alright, we shall attempt to grab all the crystals as we go. Oh! Oh, it's a dark section, I see. Okay, we have one of these for a, uh, for a fair while. Let's go grab some goods. These skeletons will definitely respawn, that's for sure. Gonna have to uh, proceed with diligence here. Make sure I don't miss anything. Me up here. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Bit of the bridge. <laughs> Do I care enough? Yes, I do. Oh man, yeah. I keep I keep li um, getting off those way too late, which is what's causing me to uh, to just keep falling in the lava. There, it's um, it is an issue. It is an issue. Oh wow, that actually took him down. Nice. Camera did not assist me there. It just like didn't cape up, so I had no idea it was there. That was kind of rude. There's loads of these dudes around. Wow. Loads of them. <laughs> oh my god. How good's your timing, everyone? Yeah. 
Oh. What? what? Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alright, it's 50 grand. I think you only get 50 before the boss fight. So I think it's in here. Yeah, the boss gives you 50 crystals. So here we are. It is boss time against Venus Von Flytrap. So the gobos are trapped inside Venus. To roll rocks down ramps, and he will spit the gobos out. Okay. Fair enough. Goodness me. Rocks down, eh? Roll them down from where, though? I guess I have to go onto this. Ah, uh, and grab them. Okay, okay, I get it. Watch out for the tendrils. Good rock there. Ow. Ow. Right. I think those hit ins, the they don't ever change in the direction they kind of aim, so that's fine. It's you'll kinda of like line this up, but it's really dodgy to aim, line this up correctly. There you go. There's one out, so that's good. Didn't actually uh, do any actual legit damage though. Oh, that's the damage there. Ow. Okay, we are in a spot of bother here, health wise. Uh. Why did that not. Don't know why that didn't do anything there. That was. That was... Whoops. That's what I get for standing there like an idiot. Pay more attention. Right, it's kicking on this right side. For some reason, it like it got blocked or something? I don't know what happened there. There we go. Good. Apparently that left side... <laughs> okay. Apparently that left side just works better. Ooh. I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, that was really bad of me. But again, it's just like the steering is so like inconsistent. It's not helping. Oh, he's starting to do his tendril thing quicker now. I see. Sort of force yourself up there. That's fine. You wait for this to go. <laughs> what? What? I got hit from underneath. Are you fucking what? That makes no sense. That makes honestly, honest to God, no sense how that did damage. Like, that is ludicrous. Okay, so you have to do it from higher. Let's grab this one. Like, it's a cute boss fight in a way, but like, yeah. Yeah, that tender was getting in the way, I guess, is what's happening. It's like blocking the shot. Right. Now we have a problem. We have to get over here and grab this. Yeah, and again, the problem is I have no health now. So I am just gonna... Uh, yeah, I don't... I guess the idea is you've got to time this for, like, when... Uh, it's not in the way, I guess. Although I don't know when that is. <sighs> not there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making life easier for me now here. I'm gonna be pretty honest. This is just convenience for everyone involved. Work this out. Then. I guess you gotta do it when it's down. Yeah, you've gotta, you gotta do it when the the tendrils down. Like that. There you go. There we go, more lawsuits. Yeah, it's cute and all, but like, eh, not my thing. Hellfire, that green do-gooder. Well, at least he knows that he's evil, so I guess that's 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 not too bad. He's not happy. 
unleash my terrible village mashing automaton. Village mashing? That sounds bad. <laughs> the little lab coats. <laughs> Oh, hold on. He's, I think he was trying to tell him, oh, hold on, it's not ready. Yeah, he is. Your meanness, splat. <laughs> He's like, no. I would. I'd get the hell out of there. All right. So we're taking on the Village Masher. It's not the most inspired name I've ever heard in a video game, but, well, I guess I'm not the one having to foot the bills. Okay. I thought more fly trap jumping action. I can't believe I didn't make that jump. Wow, that was like as late a jump as I could have mustered, and I barely made it. Like, what? How did this get through QC? How did that jump get through QC? That is like ludicrous. ludicrous. Okay, let's keep going. At least we have the health now, so it's not too bad. We have the health points to uh, take some hits here. Village Masher fight looks like it could be a bit of a pain, though. I guess it's going to be a case of just getting, like, loads of board. Oh, f what is this? No, I'm, I'm not taking that. Hold on. Right. So these nice and steady. You have to do it. You have to take them steady. There's, there's, you, you can't rush these, especially not in the freaking dark. You kind of almost have to kind of, like, guesstimate how far you're going to go. You have to definitely trust your understanding of the physics by this point in the game. That's for damn sure. There is, uh... You, you're either right or you're wrong. Okay, that was much better. Yeah, you'll take those of all... All due care and attention, that's for sure. Okay. Do that. Here. Again, we're only after the 50 crystals, so that's the end of the platforming is here. Yeah, this village masher fight looks like this could be this could be interesting. Here we go. We must fill the bucket with water and throw it at the fire-breathing monster. Here he comes. Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. All right. Yeah, we definitely going to be able to do with that uh, in direct directly. How did that hit me? I don't know. In the water. Uh... I assume this is full of water now. It is. Shit. Pick it up. Oops. And they'll give me another bucket. Ta. How that missed, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I should be fairly safe-ish actually just being in the thing. The, the, the mesh is just going around setting fires. Like, it's not actually targeting... What the hell happened there? I'm getting hit by things that I don't know if are actually existing, and that's that's pissing me off, everyone. <laughs> what? I'm beginning to ask serious questions of the physics of this game. And that's ridiculous. It's like, you remember, like, the bombs earlier? We were just, like, lobbing them so far, and then you get to this bucket, and it's just, like, nothing. I'll be next to this damn dude. Oh, that doesn't work. 
Have I, what do I gotta do? Throw it in its mouth? I don't get it. Do I throw it like this? Nope. Can't throw it in midair. That doesn't work. How the hell am I supposed to hit this thing? I am confused, everyone. That doesn't work. That is going for its body, everyone. So that's clearly not working. What? What hit me there? What? Oh, the fires. There's little bits of flame coming off of them. That's what's happening. Okay. Right. I don't get this at the moment. I don't get what I'm actually supposed to throw out here. And this is uh, not good. I'm just experimenting now. Okay, so we have to throw it at its mouth. The problem is we're basically getting going to get hit when we do that. This is, um... Oh, my God, the camera. Oh, my... No, the camera just absolutely screwed. Okay, I'm not... I'm not going to take it. The camera's just going to stick me over like that. That's just not acceptable. I think that's what I'm going to do here is just take the hit and get the make sure I get the throw in. I think that's what you got to do here. Can't be um, can't be too fancy there. Is up. Yeah, you can't. Uh... I mean, look at that. That's just like nutty physics. All right, let's get this job done. Turn around. I need him to take me uh, to, to come at me here. That'll do. No, it won't. I missed. Well, that's a that's a fair miss. So we'll uh, do it again. Problem is, he's now setting more and more fires, and there, what's the problem here? Because there's little bits of fire coming off of these in my direction, mind you, like directly. It's kind of stupid, but it's happening. Got to uh, wait for him to come by here. I'm just gonna feel like I'm easy for myself here. Oh, damn it! I missed again. Oh, camera! What the hell are you doing? Turn, turn as I want you to, please. Not asking much. All right, this is gonna be. I need that fire to go on the left side there. Until that goes, like, it's really difficult to, uh, to get this bucket. This fire's just gonna spit at me. Like that. Okay, at least it did it that way. Right, here we go. Chance here. Gonna go for it. Commits! Oh, I missed! Damn it. Man, you've gotta, like, absolutely nail the throw. There is no, uh, there is no give. It's kind of ridiculous. Ow. I'm not even sure you can get it from the side. I think you literally have to throw it in its mouth. Like, so you can't jump and throw. The game doesn't let you do that. No, I missed. I did put a stake down, although I'm, it's not a good stake because I'm getting like attacked immediately. Oh, damn it. I can't say I like this fight, everyone. I can't. I can't say I like this boss fight. That is, uh, that is the truth of the matter. You basically got to just face tank the hit while you throw the wall. I'm not sure if you can actually. If there's another way of doing it. I'm not sure there's a way of actually doing this. Like, even if I threw it from here... Well, I mean, we hit it, but we still got the damage. I, I don't know what's going on. You just... Are you fucking kidding me? The game's still live? What?
there's... There's no way that got QC'd. And they said, yep, that's good game design. There is no way. What? The game's still live, even though I can't see myself. That's insanity. I'm sure he does. That, yeah, that's... I, I cannot and will not defend that, everyone. I cannot and will not defend that. The game's live still with, in his death animation, but you can't even see yourself? I don't know this. I have no way of knowing if this is the case or not. But I'm starting to get an impression that this game's production was getting rushed towards the back end of it. I don't know if that's true. I, it, it could be wrong, but that's the impression I'm getting here, is that they were getting pushed for time for getting this out, and corners were starting to be cut, and they weren't able to make sure this game was working as good as it should do. Because there's no way that should... There's no way a team have sat around a table have seen that and said, yep, that's what we want our game to be. That's the best thing we can do. Like, there's no way. It doesn't make any sense. I am... I'm mind blown, everyone. What a shame. What a shame. Let's go say hi to Swap Meet Pete, everyone. Yeah, I know he's weird. Again, if I'm wrong, feel free to put your comments down, but like... That's the impression I get. Alright, the king was most impressed. Oh dear me, we must find a way to get you home, dearest and most old friend. So we're going to go and see the Inca Gobbos. Apparently they are very wise and well-traveled. They'll know how to get you home in one piece. <laughs> Take us there. Well, thanks, Pete. <laughs> oh my god. What are you wearing? Looking for my long lost parents. Hmm. Well, the inventor might be able to help. If we could find him, he's vanished. Oh no. That's not good. Right. Meanwhile, I want to go and just buy some stuff here from Swap P, actually. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, but between that and, like, the control scheme, it just feels like there's... And the game feels like it does have a lot of rough edges as well. Um, it doesn't feel anywhere near as polished as it should be. Right, we're going to buy four of these. We're going to buy a blue jump. And then we're going to buy a heart pot here. And we're going to take ourselves up to, uh, to nine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't skip this. There we go. There we are. That gives us nine health points. Ten, effectively, because you can run around with zero. So we basically have ten health points. So that's not too bad. That should be enough to get through some of these uh, some of these villages. Some of these areas. You just, I don't know if you say the same or not. I have no idea. Right. Let's go explore the Inca village then before we bring an end to this video. That's not what I want. Hmm. Neat. Let's have a look around. How you doing, man? What are you up to? The hell are you up to? Can I actually talk with you? Oh, now I can. What the hell? He likes to drink ginger soda and 
I'm the champion. Let's see if you can burp longer than me. Hit X as many times as you can to drink soda. Right, okay. But I'm mashing! That was... That was pretty easy, everyone. <laughs> what the hell? I'm the best. Take these prizes. Well, oh, thanks, dude. A little button mashing for 100 crystals. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. There's going to be a variety of stages around here, that's for sure. I get caught on the wall there. That was, that was interesting physics. Yeah, various dudes around. Hello. Yeah, we'll chat with the uh, the doors next time. So the event of Gobble had better come back soon. Things are falling apart around here. Ooh, ooh. Looks like you might need uh, some assistance there. Is he? Ah, oh, yeah, he's the uh, he's the Inca King. Okay. Let's go on up here then. All right, doors are locked, so I would assume that is a uh, that's the boss area. It appeared that that's probably the case. There's a couple of side doors though, isn't there? There are indeed. I think. Okay, so there's the trophy door down that side. What about this side? Yeah, sometimes the camera just like catches and just doesn't do anything. There's nothing down that side. Okay, no, 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 that's fine. At least you know where the trophy door is, so that's good. Right then, um, so I reckon this we're going to call the video, everyone. So as always, a thank you for watching. Uh, as always, it is much appreciated you watching along with the content. Although I can't always admit that I. Uh, I've played enough video games, folks. Like, I know when I'm looking and playing something that just doesn't seem to be, like, it just doesn't feel quite right, you know? And I've played this out a few times over the course of the series, and I, I stand by that. Also, that was fun. So, anyways. Next time, we're going to go and sort of do some business around the Inca village here. Uh, things apparently gone badly. The inventor might be able to help us find our parents, apparently, though we shall have to see. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll see you there.